Welcome again! In this video I will continue what I have started in the previous lecture which is basically I will show you how to calculate the lattice parameter from molar mass, uh, density and crystal structure and in the previous example I have showed you a face centered cubic uh, structure and the calculation applied uh, for the FCC structure but in this video I will go through a body centered cubic structure it's uh, very simple you just need to know some geometry and follow some very simple rules so I will show you how you can get the lattice parameter and the atomic uh, radius or covalent radius uh, from the three details we need and uh, I will calculate an example for you as well just to show how precisely we can calculate all the things so yeah let's start with BCC so this is body centered uh, cubic so this is uh, cubic structure so of course we are going to draw a cube because we would like to see how the atoms are arranged inside the cell right so we have our we have our body and then uh, okay let's make it 3d so we have our imaginary cell we have one atom in the middle of the of the cube and then we have atoms placed at each corner so we have an atom here back there here here so we can immediately calculate the number of atoms just to make it more simple so we have atoms on the corners we have eight corners, right? And each atom is the same as for the FCC structure. So one eight uh, contribution from each atom at each corner. And then this will make it one. And then we have, yeah, the body. And we have one full atom in the middle. So that will make it into one. So in total, we have two atoms in this cell and uh, just to make it clear in uh, reality or if you want to have a precise illustration of the cell these balls are equally uh, uh, their size is equal and they touch each other so they are not like in this drawing and uh, I will make it clear uh, later why it is important that we should know that they touch each other so uh, Based on the previous lecture, we calculated the Wigner's uh, radius, right? And that was uh, W. And uh, here we use our mass, which is the molar mass. And then we will use the density which is also like uh, it can be obtained from the periodic table of elements and the Avogadro uh, number and if you don't remember this should be 6 10 to the 23rd so we have our Wigner sites radius which is basically uh, the radius of the circle which is said to be the same as the volume per atom in, in average so let's talk about that volume which was this so we told that uh, this volume equals with the number of atoms in the in the cell times the volume of the uh, sphere 
which has the Wigner sites radius. And uh, we also thought that uh, we have this cube uh, which has a edge length everywhere. It has this uh, formula, so a uh, to the third power. And then we equate these two, so w equals v, and then using these two equations we can express a from this, so this will be the lattice parameter, and then uh, we just simply rearrange everything here. So we had the, the number of atoms from here, that was 2, and then we just continue 4 pi, let me 4 pi, and then divided by uh, 3, and then of course we still have the Wigner sites radius. So this will be the lattice parameter, and then now we have the lattice parameter, we will need to do some uh, geometry, but uh, it will be very very simple, but uh, I, I will show you why it is very important. So. What uh, we need to know that we have to draw a triangle first, one here. So this goes to the uh, across the base, and then this is just one of the edge, and then this is the body diagonal here. So it goes to this corner, and uh, let's call this as x, and then uh, this will be y, but at the same time this is also a right because it's the edge and then just to continue the series this will be z so uh, we would like to know what's the length of the x first of all so let me express x it's basically you can see the other triangle here right So you can say that a squared, so this, and then this, plus a squared equals to x squared. So then basically we can say that x equals square root of 2 times a. So now, since uh, x is uh, known, we can go and calculate the body diagonal. This will be important for the atomic radius. So we can uh, write down the following equation again. So x squared plus y squared equals z squared. But then we, we agreed that this will be a so x squared plus a squared equals z uh, squared and then just from this above we can substitute x with a so we can say that square root of 2 times a squared plus a squared equals uh, z squared and we did this uh, transformation or substitution because now we have everything uh, expressed in terms of the lattice parameter and then uh, we just uh, solve this very simple equation and uh, at the end we have the following square root of 3 times a so we have the body diagonal as well so why was this important? So let me draw this. I hope I can draw it nicely. So we have the triangle which goes across the body and then uh, we have one one circle or one sphere here and then we have another circle here. They should be equal. Sorry I cannot draw, really draw and this should be one. So this circle is this one 
this circle is the body uh, or uh, sphere is the atom in the body and then the third one is just at this corner so you can see that uh, if you go across the Z the body diagonal you have an atomic radius here you have a diameter which is 2 times R and then you have a radius again so you can write down that Z equals 4 R right 1 and 3 and 4 and uh, you know already from here that Z equals square root of 3 times A so you can write this square root of 3 times A equals 4 R and you just rearrange it for R so square root of uh, 3 divided by 4 times A so you have the atomic radius or covalent radius atomic radius uh, and this was the body diagonal simple so let me make a separated area here let's calculate uh, something for the most popular body center cubic element which is the iron of course so the iron has the following uh, molar mass 55.845 gram per mole and then the molar density or the density is the following so we have basically everything what we need so first Wigner's uh, radius I will not uh, write down everything so we just uh, substitute m rho and n to the formula and uh, we get the following 141.1 picometers and then from this we can calculate the lattice parameter and then again uh, we just follow this equation let me put it in a frame so this will be 286 point uh, 57 picometer and then we just follow this equation for the atomic radius so R equals 124.09 picometers so we have the atomic radius we have the lattice parameter Wigner's sites radius and uh, I checked the literature I just googled it this is correct this is correct and of course this is also correct so it was not so difficult we can uh, solve it for body centered cubic as well so I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope I did not make any mistake if I made any mistakes just let me know and uh, I will try to solve it so see you in the next video